Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Today is the 8th of uh, April uh, 2011 and uh, happy trading to you all. Uh, London is not yet open, okay? Uh, London will be open in an hour and 50 minutes or so, okay? And this video is uh, regarding uh, the Dow Jones, uh, okay? And the general market, okay? Now, I want to talk uh, again today about uh, a hot spot uh, trading zones, okay? Now, as a trader, you should be able to locate, okay, what we call a hot spot trading zone, okay? Uh, a hot spot trading zone, uh, these are areas of interest to traders, okay? These are areas where, okay, a trader will decide to exit the trend or may decide to open a new position zone. Okay, so uh, as a day trader or swing trader, you want to locate okay the the, the hot spot trading zone. Okay, these are decisions areas. Okay, decision zones. Okay, you do not want to trade in a void. Okay, you don't want to trade anyhow, anywhere. Place your trade. You want to enter the market. Okay, in the hot spot trading zone. These are areas where you will. Uh, very often see a high volume okay if you locate a valid hot spot trading zone okay followed by a high volume you are likely to be rewarded very quickly okay so as a day trader or swing trader it's so important to locate what we call a hot spot trading zone or a decision zones okay now looking at this uh, weekly chart of uh, uh, the Dow Jones, okay. I will quickly go through this with you to show you what I call a horse pole trading zone, okay. You see here the prime went up from here to this level here. This level here was a horse pole trading zone. Why this level was a horse pole trading zone? Because you can see that this was a resistance zone, okay, where I placed my red horizontal line, okay. In fact, all this zone where the price did consolidate it here, this was a horse pole trading zone. A consolidation area is a hot spot trading zone because it's a congestion zone. In this particular case where we have a, a consolidation here, we have a congestion of the bulls and the bear. People are buying and people are selling at the same place. This is a high volume zone. This is a decision zone. As you can see, after this hot spot trading zone, the price did trend down very fast. Okay, so you want to locate the horse pottery zone. So people who bought it here knew that this level was a horse pottery zone. The horse pottery zone, this is the area where trader will likely to exit the trade or enter a new trade. As you can see, those who bought it here exit the trade at a horse pottery zone and other traders came in here and sold the Dow Jones to the downside. At a horse pottery zone, new traders are taking a new position and the previous traders are exiting their trade. This is a very important, if you are trading, to locate clearly a valid horse portrait zone where you will position yourself ready, okay, not to assume anything, not, in, not to jump into conclusion, okay, but to position yourself in a way that to follow uh, the price because the price is likely to change the direction at a horse port trading zone, okay. So you see here, people bought it here, they exit the trade at a horse port trading zone. And those who, who bought it here or those who sold the Dow Jones here to the downside, they were looking at for a new horse port trading zone. And right here, there was a support level, which is another a horse port trading zone. Is, as you can see, the tail of all this candle here, and the people exit the trade here, and the new traders come into the market again at this point in time. What you need to remember regarding a horse port trading zone is that at a horse port trading zone, traders are exiting the trade, and new traders are entering a, a new uh, position. Okay, so here you can see the those who sold it here exit their bearish trend and the new traders enter the market and bought it here this was a, a horse spot trading zone and then the price start going up this was a horse spot trading zone but the price break it as you can see it break it so at this point in time you will uh, uh, take some profit okay 
at this point in time, you will take profit because it's a horse portrait in zone because it's a very important level, okay? And the price continue the movement after taking out this uh, horse portrait in zone, so to speak. It continue the movement to the middle line of uh, this range here. Uh, you see the range, okay? If I draw another line here, I hope you can see it. Uh, I'll do it very fast so you can see. Uh, uh, there was uh, this uh, range here uh, up to this level here. Okay, you see this uh, gap here from here to this level here. The middle line of uh, that uh, channel, okay, is another horse portrait zone, okay, corresponding exactly to the 50% uh, Fibonacci retracement level. Uh, you, so you exit here, you watch carefully what's happening here. The price went above it and retest the horse portrait zone and continue the movement to the next level, which is the middle line of uh, this uh, uh, channel here, okay. You see, people exit the trade here and you wait again what's happening here, okay. There was a bit of movement to the upside and then the pipe came back down again and retest the middle of this uh, uh, channel here the small one here from here to this level here okay you see the new channel from this level here up to this level here the price went below it and retest the middle line of that channel again and continue the movement to the upside to retest again this uh, horse pole trading zone a new horse pole trading zone here and he retested here only to come back down and retest uh, the 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 lower part of this uh, uh, small uh, channel again here you see so it's so important as a trader whether you are day trading whether you are trading currency stocks commodity you should be able to locate a hot spot a trading zone again today if you are looking at, at the dow jones here the dow jones is in a very tough resistance zone as you can see all the line here these are hot spot trading zone that's why we say to you be very very cautious if you are buying in this zone the price going up but we are in a very horse portrait zone this was a horse portrait zone and then there was another horse portrait zone and then there was another horse portrait zone if you look carefully here where the price now at a one to four to three this is the future chart of the wall street uh, this is uh, dow jones okay, this is the future chart as you can see that the price again is at a horse portrait zone if you look carefully on your left hand side very very important on this chart because i have too many uh, lines on this chart the level i want you to pay attention to is uh, this level here i hope you can see it. this uh, where i'm placing my red horizontal line okay you see the red horizontal line that's exactly where dow jones is at another horse portrait zone not very significant but we cannot disregard that it's a kind of uh, a horse portrait zone and the uh, dow jones okay is clearly at a horse portrait zone and as a day trader okay you go to the first best time frame of the tsdw24 in order to locate the daily cycle because as a day trader you do not want to go against the daily cycle very very important and it's for those who are swing trading okay you know also that you are in a horse portrait zone but these are decision zone because the price was going up since 2009 continuing the movement to to the upside now we are in a zone of 75 up to 88 percent fibonacci retracement level okay this is another a horse portrait zone okay so to summarize quickly to you if you want to become a successful trader you must be able to recognize clearly okay to recognize and to locate okay a horse portrait zone now and also to learn to trade around the horse portrait zone the horse portrait zone will attract very often okay above average volume where traders will exit and and uh, enter a new position very very important uh, thing that you need to remember so we are now again at uh, this level of one to four to one one to four to five for the dow jones a very important uh, uh, resistance zone we will pay attention to that if you are buying you must buy okay with uh, extreme uh, caution at this uh, point in time okay looking at the four hour chart of uh, uh, this uh, uh, dow jones you can see this is the line i'm talking about the red line this is uh, where the dow jones is at the moment you can see that uh, for uh, many many days the dow jones is stuck in this range here on the on this four hour chart this is this whole section here of uh, consolidation between this level of uh, 12339 up to this level of uh, 12450 this is a, a hot spot resistance zone this is a consolidation period a decision zone okay where there is a congestion of the bulls and the bear okay there is a tough 
competition going on in this session these two sessions here so you do not disregard that okay you will pay attention carefully here this is not the best time for uh, for for taking a swing trade position because the market is in a consolidation period this is uh, what we call uh, the debate zone okay so to speak this is a debate zone because the bulls and the bear are deciding where to bring the market okay in the in the, in the nearest future okay so i hope you enjoyed this video that uh, you will put into practice in order to cream the market uh, uh, consistently thank you for watching and uh, speak to you uh, very soon